Hello, and welcome to another installment of United We Stand, Music to Connect Us. This broadcast is the first in a three-part series highlighting the 2020 U.S. Army Orchestra's Young Artist Competition. Today we'll be showcasing the skills and accomplishments of five high school students who were winners and finalists in the strings division of this year's competition. I'm Staff Sergeant Katherine Gerheiser, and today I'm speaking with Miyabi Hendrickson, finalist of the 2020 Young Artist Competition. Can you tell me how old you were when you started playing the violin and why you picked the violin? Um, I started playing when I was four years old, so music's always been a part of my life since I was little from a young age. And to be honest, um, I can't really see myself living in the future without it, so that's why I've continued.
tell us what your most memorable musical experience is? Yeah, um, my me most memorable would be um, performing. I think it will be performing solo with the Peabody Youth Orchestra last February. Um, actually, one of my biggest fears in music are playing in front of my friends and peers. So I was really scared and nervous at my first rehearsal because like the entire orchestra, like I play with them and now I'm playing in front of them. So I was really scared and I played the Dvorak violin concerto. And I think this was most memorable because I also feel this contributed to my growth as a musician since it was a big step to overcoming my fear of playing in front of people that I know. And it was a successful first time playing with the orchestra to the sun. Well, uh, I was four when I decided I wanted to play. And I only wanted to play because my friend wanted to play. So we got a violin. We were just going to play for fun. And then we tried playing on it, but the bow was in rosin. So it didn't make any sound. So, you know, we spent a long time trying to figure out what was wrong with the violin or what was wrong with something, because obviously it wasn't working. So we took it to the teacher, and then she was like, oh, you just have to put rosin on. And then we decided, okay, since we already had a teacher, why not just have a lesson? But my first lesson, uh, I, was, I was young, and I was running around <laughs> and opening drawers and cabinets. So my first lesson went not so well, but then we got home, and my mom told me, okay, you need to behave. Next lesson, you need to have a good lesson. Tell me a little bit about your interests outside of music. Um, well, I enjoy doing competitive math. So I am a, cool. yeah, I do competition math. I do enjoy swimming, but I'm not too good at swimming. So I was on the summer swim team for the past couple of years, and uh, I was not too good, but I, I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. You have a good weekend. Thank you, Brandon. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. So I started when I was four years old, and I first studied at the Peabody Preparatory in Baltimore in their Suzuki program. And um, and once I completed the program, I started private study with um, one of four teachers like Olga Kolovich, Lee Lim, Masao Kawasaki, and now with Amira Famous. So. so that takes us to Chicago. Yes, for the past two years, um, my dad and I have been traveling to Chicago every single week for lessons. And um, it seems, at first it seems like, wow, why is she like traveling every week to Chicago? But um, at the end, it's, it's quite worth the trip. Can you tell us about how you deal with nerves on the day of a competition? I usually definitely the number one thing I do is definitely I have to like meditate before I perform because it kind of collects, collects myself, like I kind of collect myself and like kind of ease my mind before I perform and try to focus on giving my best performance, giving my best focus and giving my best energy to the audience. do is put uh, hand warmers inside like a glove and I just like hold it till right before I perform and just like kind of rest my hand. Well I'm also wondering if you wouldn't mind sharing any practice tips. So I've been like recording myself a lot more <laughs> because um, I tend to record I tend to record myself and then send it to my teacher so then my teacher can evaluate it and and give me feedback on my performance. Um, and also, you know, I also record myself during lessons, um, of course, before COVID. Um, but yeah, I think that's, <laughs> I, and I know it's not a practice tip, but I think that has become super helpful for me. And I think it'll be super helpful for other people.
Lucy, thank you for organizing the competition. And thank you so much. It's nice talking to you. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
so when I was 14, um, I got to play with uh, the summer uh, the NSO Summer Music Institute Orchestra uh, in a, on the con uh, on the Kennedy Center concert hall, and that was very uh, <laughs> it was frightening at the beginning, but it was a great experience, and uh, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Joseph Mustwin, second place winner of the Young Artist Competition. How are you, Joseph? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Can you uh, share with me how old you were when you started playing the cello and maybe why you chose the cello? The first, the first time I played the cello, I was three years old, uh, but I didn't have any actual lessons or anything until I was four. I think the reason I chose cello was uh, my family is very musical, and so I just was surrounded by music, you know, since I was born. There, you know, I have family members who play the cello, so obviously there was, you know, very close connection uh, from the beginning. Could you share a memorable musical experience? Sure. So uh, a piece that I, I've, I've really been uh, close to my whole life is the, the Casa de Solo Suite for Cello. You know, I, I've had it in my head for a long time and I, I've really been thinking, I had been thinking, you know, about how I wanted to play it and, and what I thought it should sound like and all that stuff. So I was at a summer festival and I was, I was talking with uh, the teacher there about, you know, what I wanted to perform the next year. And we decided that, you know, I'm going to play the Casado in a concert next summer. And that goal was very present for me the whole year leading up to that concert. And I, I really worked very, very hard. <laughs> Basically, I was just obsessed with that piece for uh, about three months before the concert. It really paid off and I, I had a wonderful wonderful experience performing that uh, for my friends uh, and for the teachers and, and I don't know, there's there's this thing about playing solo music where you, I, I kind of almost feel like I, I'm having a, a, a dialogue with the, the composer as I'm playing it and, it and I get to you know show that to the audience. I really love that.
you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.